Welcome to another episode of Inspired Chats. In this episode, we're going to talk about what's in the build. Uh, first up, something a little bit different. It's not your typical mini truck that you see around these days at shows. Um, most people build Hiluxes, Rodeos, and the occasion at the bars and stuff here and there. Uh, there's been people that have built Pathfinders, there's been people that have built Explorers. Duane Kelly from Queensland has a Forerunner that he's building. Uh, this build is first generation. It's a 1986 Toyota 4Runner and it's been put onto a shortened 93 Extra Cab Hilux chassis. Everything on this truck is from Mex Garage and has either been made up by him or his mate Jacko. So he sent us into a write up about uh, what the plan is and what his end objective is. Uh, so here he says on the plan, the plan is to body drop to pinch on 20s if all works out. Uh, plus it's running a 22R, which is just there for engineering purposes. And everyone knows they're a reliable engine, so they'll work pretty well on that car. Uh, being a first generation 4Runner, it's hard to source out parts, so we opted to go for a second gen front end and a second gen rear bar with graft, with graft tailgate. Basically, he said at the end of the day, he wants something old school that's a shed built with all his mates and the family can enjoy without breaking the budget. Uh, he says he's going for a full Hawaiian tiki theme sort of paint job with some wiki graphics, bright colours and something can cruise down the beach in style. So we're keen to see that happen as no one else has built a 4Runner in, in Australia that's to this extent. There has been a few 4Runners uh, out and built over the last few years so the sort of, you don't really hear about them anymore. Um, some are either turned into burnout cars or some are just sitting in sheds that just don't get touched for years. Uh, he does say he wants to give a few thanks out uh, first, he wants to give a big shout out to Jackson Healy for all the fab work, uh, Jesse Keepens for the help throughout the build, and all the guys who have done big and small things right down there helping him push it around the yard. Yeah, we all know that feeling when it comes to pushing builds around. If you want to hear more about Dwayne's build, uh, we will be showcasing a bunch of photos and everything throughout his build on Inspired Existence Facebook and our Instagram, so head on over and check them out. Alright, next up we've got Matthew Grimshaw. He's got a 1984 SR5 Toyota Hilux Extra Cab that's been body dropped to 90mm and the tub is built from an 86 import 4Runner slash surf. Uh, it has a parallel 4 link with custom watts link, RE6 airbags in the front and RE7 bags in the rear. It's got a 22 RE engine lowered and pushed back to help clear the bonnet, uh, custom wiring harness, surf one piece electric glass doors, air 17 inch territory wheels and hope to have it sometime before he dies he says. Now this build has been around for a little while now. Jasmine from Chaos Designs did a video of it when he was doing a bit of work on it, so head on over and check that video out. He sent through some photos and videos, so we're going to do a little bit of a montage so you got something to see. And so sit back and enjoy. these kind of builds that make the mini truck scene what it is today it's not all about the high top builds it's also about the shed builds so props to him and his mates and his family the truck's gonna be cool and who doesn't love a set of territory wheels next up the trap dean trap dean's been in the mini truck scene for a long while now uh he used to have a toyota hilux that was 2jz powered and he used to give that thing hell pinnacle of that truck was he used to do house kids down at island fever down the main street uh, we do have photos which we'll show you right now uh, and he used to work for Bag Magazine. Everyone knows Bag Magazine was killer back in the day and he contributed to that. 
Uh, so now he's got a new build, which is a Toyota Stout. It's also 2JZ powered. Check this out, he's also sent through some videos, so sit back and enjoy. I'm building a 1968 Toyota Stout with a 2JZ VVTI engine. I have uh, used the original Toyota Stout chassis. I uh, have grafted in a 2000 model Hilux control arms to allow me the ability to run drop spindles. Uh, the suspension in this one is uh, shockwaves. Uh, the reason behind going shockwaves for this one was to give me the flexibility to change the coil levers uh, if I feel the need to. But the plan is definitely to run uh, a reasonable quarter mile time uh, on air suspension. Uh, as I believe not many trucks have successfully done this or are doing this. I've been building uh, this truck for at least eight years now. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do. It was an idea I originally had while I still had my old truck delayed. Just wanted to try and make a better uh, rear end setup uh, to hopefully get more power down, more traction. Uh, hence the reason for the 275 drag radios on the back. So the next thing I want to try and do is finish the watts link. That, I'm halfway through that, just have to make the tube off the diff. I'm also currently working on a rack and pinion steering conversion. My idea for that, I don't know what rack I'm going to use yet. Still trying to identify which one will work. Um, I will be looking at doing electric power assisted steering in the column. Uh, we'll graph this to the Toyota Stout uh, co original column to, in the attempt to retain the uh, factory steering wheel. Uh, install seat belts, so if anyone's got any seat belts from a single cab Hilux uh, that ran a bench seat, um, please reach out to me. Uh, fuel system, we're going to try and run this on E85, uh, probably a flex fuel setup, so it'll allow me to still cruise to interstate and do long runs in this. Killer truck, can't wait to see that out on the streets cruising. Got some fat tyres under the rear, so you know that 2JZ is going to be pushing some power out of that. Next up, we've got Reese Burke. Reese Burke's truck's been around for a very long time and one might say why would you chop up a perfectly good example of a mini truck and start from fresh. So Reese Burke, his Hilux got around a bit back in the day. It was blue, 20s, real tidy, he went to every show he possibly could. Uh, now he's gone into a different perspective on it. Uh, so he sent in a write up for what it is. Uh, he said he's owned a Hilux for 11 years and it was already bagged in factory white with chrome 20s. He had a vision of having a body drop, so he took it to Matt Hendler's workshop. Now in the last vlog that we did, you would see Matt, Hendler, Matt Hendler's shop, and it was just everything you want in the backyard shed. It had everything. Um, so it was a good choice to take it there. Uh, once they took the cab off the chassis, they decided to start from scratch, and somewhat of the rear chassis is still factory behind the notch. Uh, it's been in construction stage for roughly five years. Now, one thing that people realize is trucks don't get built in like a year. It usually takes a few years. Five years is a, is a long time, but not a long time in the real things. Got a parallel full length, got brackets made by Ching at Disguise Customs. Uh, it's also got the watts link, the bag cups and the bag mounts done by him as well. It's got a chop shop filler and adjustable arms. It runs a can-do upper and lower control arms. It's zedge notched with a flow front horns. It's been stretched to accommodate a space cap top. Now when you look at the photos and the videos, you can understand why he did that. It's, everything's in proportion, it sits perfect, it's going to be a killer truck when it's done. Uh, he did say it will be running a 3RZ turbo with a manualized A340. And the end goal is to have a high quality standard, such as a full detail underneath, inside and out, and there is no real deadline as perfection takes time. But he does say it will be finished one day. We hope we see that one day because we've been following the build for the last few years and Handler's doing some exceptional work so we're changing this guy's customs so the truck's going to be sick Next up we've got Cameron Ford Cameron Ford's building an 85 Courier Now we've been following Cameron Ford for a few years now and the work that he's doing to it is second and none detail so that's why we decided to feature him in this episode because uh, it was already bagged but he decided to redo everything from the ground up so all new bushes, all new parts are all being replaced uh, he's done a rear clip on it to his own personal touch. Plus, it's going to have a brand new motor uh, to make it reliable and be able to cruise the streets. 
He's hoping to have it ready for East Coast Cruise this year in November. Now that's a show you everyone must go to because that is where a lot of the kind of construction cars get unveiled. Uh, he basically said he wants a clean little truck to enjoy and drive as much as he can. Now, don't we all want that? Everyone wants a clean truck that they can go cruising on the streets and driving down the streets or go to all the shows, such as there is some builds that are being built in a few months time. They've driven to Island Fever, they've driven up north to a bunch of shows in Brockhampton and that's it for that episode. We will be doing more episodes of what's in the build, but first one is, some killer trucks are getting built right now. Can't wait to see them. Thank you.